Oh, hey, Janet. Fuck off, Simon. Next week? I was thinking this weekend. Simon's home on weekends. Can't you send him on an errand or something? Shit. What? Shit, shit, shit! Get dressed! Bianca, could we talk inside? Sure. Before you say anything, he's a guest. He's in the valley because he's running for the election. I'm not following. He's running. In the election? Yes. And he's campaigning in the valley? Yes. By kissing people? Oh, it's so strange. He's Italian, grandmother or something. And do you know what they like? Kissing people hello and goodbye. And was he kissing you hello or goodbye? Goodbye. He just gave me the spiel about energy efficiency and was on his way out. Out the side door? Yeah. I think he got disorientated. Well, he's running in the election? Yes. We should invite him to stay for dinner. What? No. Yes. If you want to get ahead, you've got to be with the right people. <sighs> he's finished his rounds. <sighs> finished his rounds. Politicians never stop working. I haven't got anything prepared. We must have something. I don't think so. Wait, the kiss was tender. What? When he kissed you, it was tender. Oh, that's just how he is. It's a tender man. Would he kisses everyone like that? Probably. Can't be hygienic. <laughs> no, probably not. Um, I'll see him to the game. No, 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 no. He's staying for dinner. If he becomes mayor, we can say that we had dinner with the mayor. Simon, please, not tonight. Yes, tonight. What's his name? Guido. Guido? Who calls their kid Guido? Is that an Italian thing to her? Probably. Guido? Son? You can't do it, can you? You make these? The worm square. See, when it's unraveled, it looks like a worm, and then if you put it together... I, I get it. Do you want a hint? 
I've never really been into toys, so... It's not a toy, that's a puzzle. And that's what you do? You're a... a toy maker? I invent puzzles to challenge the mind. But you didn't invent this. I did? I don't think so. I've seen this before. No, the, the patterns would be different. I've seen it in toy shops, so... Yeah, Mass-produced. This is handcrafted. Of course, it's very clever. I just wouldn't say that you... invented it. What would you say? I'd say you're a... sweet little... toy maker. Should we see Bianca needs a hand? Uh, no, no, no. You're our guest. Um... Would you like another drink? Sure. So, uh, what do you do for work? <sighs> Not a whole lot, to tell you the truth. Must do something. Campaigning is work at the moment. And before you were campaigning, what were you uh, doing? Playing. Playing? Yeah, not with your toys or such nonsense. I was living life, you know, travelling, going to lots of parties, sleeping with beautiful women. Are you all right? I'm fine. She's a bit of a klutz. I think she's heavenly. Well, she's all yours. <laughs> I'd take her in a second. So, you're rich? Sorry? Well, you spend your time roaming the world, going to parties and doing sex. So, are you rich? Money's not really a problem for me. I've... I play the stock market and whatnot, so... You buy and sell. Yeah, you could say that. Well, whilst I don't mass produce these, I could make 20 to 25 per day. Simon. Hmm? I don't think Guido is interested in your worm square. It's all right. I'm intrigued. So what do you propose? You look like you're the kind of guy who can get things done. The kind of guy who knows people, you can operate in the right clicks. Yeah, I'm well connected. So say I got you a hundred of these per week, and because you'd be getting them in, let's just call it mass, then you'd get them at a wholesale price. Can I have a word? Do I let him keep going? So what is the recommended retail price? $30. $30? Yes, but you'd be getting it for 15. $15 per unit at a hundred units a week. You'd be making a bit of money out of me. It's a great product. So how many did you sell last year? Two. He sold two. Okay. 2,000 at 15 No, million. not 2,000, just two. And one of them he sold for half price, so he made $45 off the worm square last year. Uh, you know, maybe we should, we just, we'll have that word. Why would you say that? Because it's true. This is a great opportunity for us. I don't think he's interested. Well, he's interested in something because he's here. Why is the bed like that? Like what? I made this this morning. Oh, I had an afternoon nap. You don't have afternoon naps. Sweetheart, please, don't let your imagination go somewhere that it shouldn't. I know, but the kiss and the bed... I know. It looks bad. What are you? 
Not now. What are you? You're a little snow pea. Little snow, my little snow pea. Why don't you go and sell your clever little worm square? I'll make the bed and I'll see you at dinner. Okay? Okay. This is a good knife. Yeah, cut it free with a mix master. Strong, sharp. Yep. Thought I'd give Bianca a hand with dinner. She doesn't really like help in the kitchen, so. You make her do all the work. Well, no, I look after the grounds, and that's five acres. That's a lot. A woman as beautiful as your wife, you should look after her. Sh should we get back to the Worm Square? I'll buy it. 100 a week, $15 per unit. Nothing. He's gonna buy it. Your worm square? Yeah. You mean one? He's gonna buy a worm square? No, he's gonna buy a hundred. A week. We're gonna be so rich. Oh my god. That is great. <laughs> Why don't you go and have a shower before dinner? You're a little bit on the nose. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, don't let him leave and see if we make a transaction tonight. Why did you just agree to that deal? So we could spend more time together. He makes them in his shed. On site? Yes. And now, if he's making a hundred of them a week, he'll be here, around, all the fucking time. Damn. Yeah. Come away with me. I can't. Why? What's it gonna take? Reincarnation into a better life? Or death? What? Till death do you part. That's the vow, isn't it? Oh, I'm not gonna kill him. You won't have to. You'd be locked up. Nobody knows I'm here. The two of you were at home, having a lovely dinner, when a stranger knocked at the door. Your husband answered the door and was rushed by a petty thief. What happens next? The thief puts a knife to his neck and says... Ah, oh, your money or your life. Yes, your money or your life. And your husband, being the proud man that he is, says... We keep our money in a shoebox under the bed? No. No, he says... You'll not get a cent out of me. And then? And then the thief stabs him and pierces his heart. And? He dies. And, and you're distraught and heartbroken. That's wonderful. The newly elected mayor hears of this tragedy and comforts the poor widow. My friendship blossoms. Their friendship becomes romantic. He proposes. They get married the following year. They have kids. No, uh, no I don't like that part. I'll take that part out. No kids, just, just two lovers. Here's to our new business partner, Guido. Guido. Hmm? It's Guido. That's what I said. You said Guido. I apologize. Good to get it right from the start. This could be a long-term relationship. I'm hoping so. So are we. Let's not let this get cold, guys.
Spanish. I beg your pardon? Guido. Is that a Spanish name? Italian. You don't look Italian? It's a fairly loose connection. My parents named me after my grandfather. Was your grandmother Italian? No. You had it wrong. You said grandmother. We'd only just met. It was said in passing. Lots of pizza growing up? Just because my grandfather was Italian doesn't mean we ate a lot of pizza. I made an assumption. I apologise. Forgiven. Was your grandfather a traditional man? Why are you so interested in my grandfather? Just trying to learn more about our future mayor. Oh, he was born and raised in Florence. Moved to this country when he was 28 where he met my grandmother. As far as I know, he fought in one war, spent most of his life a bookkeeper and drank himself to death before I was born. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hmm. Hmm, what? Well, it's just interesting that you never met him. You don't speak highly of him, and the only traditional Italian custom you have is kissing people. Hello and goodbye. What are you talking about? When I kissed you earlier, your lips were tight and scrunched like the asshole of a cat. That's disgusting. And yet when you kiss my wife, it's more... Uh... Tender. Tender. Okay. How should we settle this? Oh, there's nothing to settle. You can make your transaction for the first 100 worm squares, then get out. I'm sure Bianca would rather I stay. I see. Well, how about we settle this over a game of chess? Oh my god, there is something seriously fucking wrong with you, Simon. How about we settle this with our fists? You mean punch each other? Yes, Simon, punch each other. I'll meet you on the porch.
tell me you were so strong? Why didn't you tell me you were so beautiful? 